Hi and welcome everyone to Nikki Loves Books. Nikki here. Today we do have an Owl Crate unboxing that we will get to in just a moment. I did want to provide everyone an update who are waiting on the Air of Fire recap. So that recap was planned to be coming out in April. And I am sorry to say that obviously did not happen and it's because my video got corrupted after I put in all the work and recorded it. I was really frustrated so I didn't want to jump back into recording right away because then you guys would all see that I was very angry in the video. So had to put it on hold for a second. I am going to be re-recording this week. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is separate the videos between part one and part two. If you guys remember, Air of Fire is separated between part one and part two. So I might do my videos mirroring that. So recap of Air of Fire part one and then a part two afterward. That way I can get at least one of them out hopefully by this weekend. I don't want to promise anything. Hopefully I don't have any more tech errors. But just know that for sure, this recap video will be coming out this month. So look forward to that. On to our Owl Crate box. So it is obviously May. So this is the Owl Crate for May 2023. I don't want to show you guys because I don't want to reveal my address. But Owl Crate put a piece of tape on this and it's not actually taping the box closed. So they're improving because there were quite a few boxes that I got that had no tape whatsoever on the box. And I was like, that's not very secure. So this box has tape on it. It's not covering the opening of the box, but I'm like, there's tape. I don't know who the hell broke what, but there is some construction going on outside. It's not like plain construction. It actually seems like something broke. Hoping those construction noises don't get picked up by my mic, but you never know. First thing we need to find out, of course, in our Owl Crate box is a reminder of what the box theme is because I never remember month to month. So our theme for the May 2023 Owl Crate box is Against All Odds. First up, we have a Lord of the Rings box. So this was our sneak peek, I believe, last month for this month's box. There was mention about Lord of the Rings ceramic bowls. They did four ceramic bowls from Lord of the Rings last year. And so this will be my fifth Lord of the Rings ceramic bowl and I'm very excited. I love these bowls. I actually use them quite often in cooking. They're super helpful and a perfect size for when you have ingredients cut up and you kind of need to set them to the side for now because you're not quite using them. These bowls are perfect. I don't know if they're dishwasher safe. I went ahead and just assumed that they weren't and been washing them by hand. I do recommend that. Let's go ahead and open our box. So here is our fifth ceramic bowl. So obviously if you had Owl Crate last year, this will be your fifth. If the Owl Crate is new to you this year, this will be your first. So here is our ceramic bowl from Lord of the Rings. If you guys do not recognize, this is from Rohan. Together with Artist Janine Liqueur, we're bringing a bit of the magic of Middle Earth to your table with a limited edition ceramic bowl collection. Each bowl in the series celebrates a different iconic location from Tolkien's Lord of the Rings universe. This fifth installment brings us to the glorious kingdom of Rohan, who of course are known for their horses. That is our ceramic bowl. Oh, so I have more light up here. So if you guys didn't know, I did add another light in my office for when I'm recording that is over on this side. I used to only have light on this side and then of course behind me. So we're doing it with more light. I'm hoping that you guys like it. If you guys like the light and think it's a good amount, please let me know in the comments because I am curious. And I obviously will see it once I edit the video. But I would always love your input as well because I do want to make sure that you guys can see the item specifically. And I think that was my fault as I didn't have both lights on. I thought just the, the new light that I have was enough, but it's not. So here is that bowl again with these details. I'm liking the double lights. I kind of feel like you can see the items better. Next up we have another box and it says, choose your words carefully, even the words you think because they will become seeds and seeds become history. This is a fantastic quote. It says, seal your secrets and stories with bookish elegance with this wax seal kit inspired by Dance of Thieves. Signed with love by Michelle Gray. If you guys did not know, I love wax seals. I used to, and I shouldn't say used to, I still do sort of kind of when I have time. It's really hard to find time between working full time and then doing YouTube videos. But 
I used to make cards for people and I, I guess I still do sometimes when I make time for it, but I always love wax seals because I seal the card envelopes and I have a bunch of these and this one might be my new favorite because it is a book with roses. So that is this wax seal and I'm loving this. This might be my new favorite and now I kind of want to write letters and send cards and all that jazz. It does of course also come with some wax. Seal your secrets with elegance by using a wax seal kit inspired by Dance of Thieves, which I have not read yet, heard good things. The kit features a wax candle and a stamp featuring a design perfect for any bookworm who wants to send letters with a bit of flair and it is all created with love by Michelle Gray. Next we have this beautiful tin, inspired by the girl who fell beneath the sea which not read and have not heard of. This bookmark tin, this bookmark tin, I need this. This bookmark tin is the perfect place to hold your pretty bookmarks. Perfect for any bookworm that needs a space to organize or start a collection and was gloriously designed by at sayiri.art. So the quote on this beautiful bookmark tin is, sometimes only through story can a truth be heard. And then there's this which says stories are both an escape from the truths of the world and the only way to see them clearly let's be honest this will also work of course for pens and pencils easily they all fit but i'm gonna be using this for bookmarks because i i need this speaking of bookmarks transparent bookmarks designed with love by at guyan art and they are beautiful it's gonna be really hard to see these because they are transparent bookmarks they are so unique and so so pretty speaking of bookmark we have a unique set for lovers of daughter of the moon goddess six crimson cranes and a magic seeped in poison our transparent bookmark set features iconic characters who face the odds head on along with gorgeous elements of their stories and was stunningly designed by at Guyan Art. These are very beautiful. And I've heard of all three of these novels and I've heard very good things and I have not had the pleasure yet of reading these, but hoping I will have the pleasure one day. The last physical item in this box before we get to the book is of course our treasured tomes. Here is our beautiful treasured tomes enamel pin. Here's the inside. This month features the fifth Treasure Tomes enamel pin in our 2023 pin collection. Each month's box will include a book styled pin featuring in universe references to many beloved books and fandoms, all designed by at No One Designs. Explore the legends of Arawia and embark on a quest in We Hunt the Flame. But beware an ancient evil stirs. I've read this book. I liked it. I would definitely pick up any other work from that author. I do not believe I've done a book review for that book yet though. So that is it for our physical items. Of course, other than the book, which is the grand finale. Looking at the items, it is really hard for me this month to choose my favorite because I love the bowl. The bowl is beautiful. It's Lord of the Rings, which I love the movies, not gonna lie, not crazy about the books, sorry Tolkien. We're just gonna keep that between us. And the problem that I have with the books is just the writing style of Tolkien. So I love the lore, I love the world, like everything about Lord of the Rings and its history is just absolutely beautiful. I just don't think Tolkien was a great writer. That's just me, it's nothing personal against him. I do really enjoy reading the history of Middle Earth just because that is a lot more fast paced than Lord of the Rings. So. Again, love the world, love everything about Lord of the Rings. Just Tolkien's writing is not my favorite. Anyway, so I love the bowl. It's also very useful. However, really digging the wax seal, especially because it's a book and love books. And I don't think I have a book wax seal, so really digging that. And then there's also the very beautiful bookmark 10. It was stunning. It's also very useful and it's something I needed. So between those three, I'm kind of torn. Okay, I think my favorite item is gonna be, it's the ball. It's the Lord of the Rings ball. Loved it, was so excited for it. So that is my favorite item. 
Let me know in the comments what your favorite item is or what you're looking the most forward to. Before we jump into revealing our book, I do want to go through the newsletter really quick. So beginning in the newsletter, we'll have a small interview with the author of the book this month, which of course I'm not going to show you because I don't want to ruin the book of the month. The other thing that they show, which I will show at the end after we reveal the book, is the difference between the Owl Crate exclusive cover of the book versus the regular cover. Next up in our newsletter is News from the Nest, which I have not joined yet. Not crazy about social media, which is a good thing and a bad thing, especially when I'm trying to promote my YouTube channel. It's really not helpful that I'm not social media oriented, but it is what it is. So news from the nest. Then they have a small interview with one of the vendors, which the vendor is the one who did the transparent bookmarks, which were absolutely stunning. Next up, they include information about the photo challenge as well as the Owl Babble, which is a live chat with the author and Owl Crate readers. They also then include a Spotify playlist, which if you have seen my channel, you all know that I really like the Spotify playlist. So they're still doing that, I'm very excited to say. Then they have a list of other books that they're excited that came out this month. This month those include St. Juniper's Folly, Court of the Undying Seasons, Of Light and Shadow, The Isle of the Gods, and Venom and Vow. So that is it for our Owl Crate newsletter. Like I said, I will be showing us what the regular cover looks like versus the Owl Crate cover after I reveal the book because I don't want to spoil that beforehand. And time for the most important part of our Owl Crate box, the book. And this month we have Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. She must be a Marvel character with the same initial for first and last name. If you guys didn't know, that is a Marvel trait. Stan Lee specifically did that on purpose because he had problems keeping track of his own characters. And so a lot of times he had the same initial for first and last name to help him remember. Anyways, about our Owl Crate book. Our May book pick is for the hopeless romantic who believes in the power of love. Yes, I'm here for this. In Divine Rivals, we're introduced to a warring world of gods and a rivalry that unknowingly leans to yearning hearts. Our protagonist, Iris Winnow, finds herself in the middle of it all while trying to keep her family together and facing the front lines of battle that may seal her fate. Our signed edition features our first ever colored stenciled edges by Lynchon and Limestone. This book also has a gorgeous redesigned exclusive cover by at Rena Illustration and at Lynchon and Limestone. Turn over the cover for the reversible dusk jacket and you'll be met with enchanting artwork by at St. Dree. Beneath the dust jacket, you'll find an exclusive foil design on the hardcover case by at Paperback Bones. Peek inside to view the exclusive end pages designed by at Lynchon and Limestone. I am very excited to say there is a ribbon bookmark inside, which I do not understand why they haven't been doing the whole entire time. Hardback books are perfect for ribbon bookmarks, people. And finally, an author letter and bonus content from Rebecca Ross has been included for our subscribers. So that is it for our exclusive edition of Divine Rivals. I am so excited that this came today because I literally finished my most recent book last night and I was crying to my husband that I wanted to start my next book because I couldn't be without a book, but I didn't want to start a new book last night because I knew I would be getting my owl crate today. So, so happy I got this. I'm very excited to be reading this. I'm so excited that it has a ribbon bookmark. It's great. Can't wait to tell you all about how much I like this book once I'm done with it. All right, and before we leave, we got we got three things still to go over. Three things, which is not normal. Usually it's just two. So one of those things I said we would be going over, and that is to look at the Owl Crate exclusive cover versus the regular cover. And I initially wanted to say that I didn't like either, 
but this picture of the Owl Crate exclusive cover doesn't do justice. The actual cover is a lot more detailed and it has, I don't know if you guys, yeah, you guys can tell. Like there's faint writing, like typing in the background. So I am so digging this. Lichen, the Owl Crate exclusive version of this book. Next up, there's a digital code for a sneak peek of Bonesmith by Nikki Powell Preto. So that was the second thing that I wanted to show you guys. So this was in the Owl Crate box. So yay, sneak peeks. Sadly, I don't like reading electronically, but I'll do it occasionally. So hopefully I'll have the time to check this out. And then of course, last but not least, we need to find out theme and sneak peek for our Owl Crate box for next month. So the theme is if the fates allow. So that is our June theme for the Owl Crate box. I cannot believe that it's going to be June. And every June box will include an exclusive item designed by at Vit Kosgaya Art. I probably butchered that. I'm really bad at long names. I am so sorry. But this is an example of her art. Eh, beautiful. So all we know is we're going to be getting something beautiful in our next box. That is it for our Owl Crate May 2023 box. Thank you all so much for being here. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you can come join me for our next unboxing. Hopefully we'll get a bookish box unboxing at some point. I keep getting emails from them being like, we're packing your box. And I'm like, what box? You guys have keep sending me these emails and I never see a box anytime soon. So I'm hoping I'll get a bookish box this month. Cross our fingers. They're so behind. Anyways, so bookish box and then we have our air of fire recap coming out and then hopefully another book review so stay tuned for those and hope to catch you all next time thanks